Hey, here we go, calculator folks. Um, I really like the Casio FX991EX. I've made a lot of videos about it, but it certainly is not perfect. And recently, I ran into another problem with how it handles the use of this answer key in expressions. I'll put a link to a previous video I did, but this is a new wrinkle on that same issue. Two different people ran into this within the same week and they asked me about it. My takeaway is avoid using, I had never even noticed this key, but if you hit shift equal, there's a little approximately equal. So if you do like, uh, let's just real quickly do this. If we had two thirds and we wanted to know, hit equal, it's two thirds. But if I want to know what it's approximately equal to, I can do shift and equal, and I get the expected result. I had never done that. I have always just used this key here, this SD, which I think means like symbolic to decimal. I'm not sure, but it's like a toggle. I've always used that. And that's the safe key, and that's the key I would urge all of you to use. I would suggest avoiding this approximately equal for the reason that I'm going to now show you. So let's start, and we're just going to do, this is contrived, but 7 divided by 2, 7 halves. Let's say we wanted to square that, 49 fourths. And then let's say for some reason we want the decimal value. These two people were both doing shift and give me the approximate. Before I do that, we know that the approximate answer should be somewhere around a little over 12. So we hit that. And the answer is 150. And if you're not on your toes, you might fall for that and just write that down as your answer. That's not too great. It turns out when you use this shift and equal to do the approximately equal, it reruns the previous expression, which in this case was take the answer and square it. So what's really happening is it's taking the, let's do this again. It's taking what should have been, oops, 7 halves squared. It's taking 49 fourths and it's squaring it again. If I want the actual value of this, the safe way to do it is use this S to D button. And notice it doesn't recalculate anything. It just quickly converts it to the expected decimal. On the other hand, if we use this shift in approximately equal, we get this errant result. So watch out for that. My suggestion is do not use the shift equal. I never even knew it was there. In my opinion, it shouldn't be. Um, on the 991ES, which in America is the 115ES, it doesn't have an approximately equal symbol, but it does function the same way. So you've been warned. Hope this is helpful to somebody. Take care.